Hi guys, this is Wish Candy, bringing answers to your questions. A lot of people have been asking about what kind of supplies I use, and I really like using a lot of simple supplies, so they're mostly easy to get your hands on. Um, maybe not your local craft store, because honestly most of their supplies kind of suck. Although, I did kind of find some of them there. Anyways, uh, um, the paper I like to use is this Reuse Lightweight Printmaking Paper in Cream. Um, I wouldn't advise using it, honestly, because if you erase a lot, the surface gets really disgusting. Especially it's not really made for what I use it for, but it works for me. Um, also, uh, if I'm on the go, I like using an Arches watercolor block in a hot press. If you got hot press, the I don't know if you know, but the paper is going to be smooth. If you get cold press, the the texture is really rough, and so you don't get smooth pencil marks. It kind of gets in the way of drawing, which I find rather unpleasant. Most people rather like cold press paper, and um, it comes in a bright white. So what I usually do is, before I start anything, I mean, obviously I'll mark off what size paper area I'm working on, and then I'll put like a cream base on it. It helps a lot. And then I'll just lay down the colors as normal. And uh, for my pencil, I use a, a Zebra Color Flight, because it's super awesome in a .03, which is not quite the smallest that you can get. Um, most stores would carry like a 0.05 or 0.7, but 0.3 gives me like a fine pencil mark, which you can usually get like, you can get this at jetpens.com, or you can go to an art store and they'll have like those drafting pencils you can get in like a bright yellow or brown. And these watercolors, which are Talon's transparent watercolors, it's kind of stupid that they call them transparent watercolors because all watercolors are transparent. You know, if it's an opaque watercolor, technically it's called gouache. Wash. Anywho, um, I usually just mix my colors up here to whatever specific color I want and then apply them. Here's what the colors actually look like straight out of the watercolor pan. And I mean, I don't know, it's pretty swank and fancy considering I started using Prang watercolors. This was like, I don't know, I think like 20 bucks at Michael's if you have one there. And lastly, my, well not lastly, my good old buddy. I like collecting jam jars for some reason and using them as my little watercolor, like for water. Obviously, Jane Mai suggested I use my tears to paint your lovely paintings. And uh, I, don't know, I like this anyway. It's got King on top. Super kitsch. And um, basically, um, well, I don't usually ink the lines for my drawings, but I found that when I do, 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 ink drawings. I like um, Manzura Newton Series 7 ink brushes. I'm just going to recommend these to everybody because when I was doing ink drawings I used to go through like a million like synthetic brushes from the craft store and they're all nasty and I could never they would never keep a fine point longer than a few drawings and these I've had for two or three years and the, they still snap to the point. It's made out of sable, so if you're into that, get some fucking Windsor Newton Series 7. Nobody's paying me to tell you this, just just do it. If you have any other questions, just leave them in my ass box. I'll either make another video or I'll answer them eventually. Yeah, peace.